All right, so welcome everybody. Uh, we've got four of our key uh, returning players here. Um, next year's team is very exciting, and we uh, know that these four will make a big uh, impact in what we're doing with LMU basketball. Um, so to start, we'll introduce everybody. Uh, we've got number zero, Eli Scott, uh, who will be entering his senior season this year, and he ranks in the top 30 in LMU history in points, rebounds, assists, double-doubles, so much more. Uh, welcome, Eli. What's up? <laughs> uh, we've got number one, Damian Douglas, who's coming off a redshirt this year. Uh, after earning all freshman team honors as a freshman in 2018 and 19, welcome, Dame. What's good? Uh, number two, Joe Quintana. Uh, he also served a redshirt year this year um, and enters as a junior for next season. Uh, Joe has 57 made threes, which is the most of anybody on the roster for next year. So welcome, Joe. That's good. Uh, and then last is number 14, Matias Markison, uh, who decided to make his return as a graduate senior and is the program record holder in career field goal percentage at 59.1%. Welcome, Matias. Thank you, Larman. How are you guys living right now? Good. Lavish. Cool, cool. Uh, Matias and Eli, you guys are on campus. How's that been? It's a uh, ghost town. It's not very fun. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's empty. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, Eli, how's it been with the, with empty, with empty uh, walkways and uh, nobody really around? Good. Been real quiet. You know, you can get place to place pretty quick. Yeah, perfect. Um, how's uh, how's everybody staying fit? Are you uh, doing a lot of uh, on your own work, uh, Damien? How about you? Well, uh, you know, I got. I'm lucky to have a couple sources. I got the school hooking me up with uh, physical therapy out here, so I'm going uh, three days a week working PT out here with my new uh, physical therapist, and then. Uh, my actual trainer that I lift with at home, he has like a whole garage gym set up. So I'm basically doing my normal stuff except for uh, shooting on a real court because that's, that's, all all, that's all locked down. And then, Joe, how about you with uh, your road to recovery as well? Uh, same as Dan, the school's got me hooked up with the PT by home. And I also got like a weight set in my backyard. So I do all the same workouts that I would do at school. Is this the longest you guys have gone without shooting a basketball, really? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, and then, uh, Matias, you've been working uh, on some of your weight stuff. Uh, what's uh, that been like to not be in the weight room, but to be able to do kind of your own plan? Yeah, I mean, it's different. Uh, <clears throat> Jordan Alcantara, strength coach, he could have hooked me up with a few dumbbells and bands and uh, jump rope and a few things like that. So, but it's sometimes it can be good to mix up the, the weight lifting too. Now it's more body weight training than heavy weights, and which is also good for your body. So, you know, you just got to do what you can. Getting them prison workouts. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> nice. So we'll, uh, we'll see you nice and big when we get back. <laughs> yeah perfect and then uh you know what what's one of the things that you most look forward to doing once you're back on campus damon uh just being able to get in the gym man i i've been shooting outside on the outside courts parks but they locked it down in my town so just getting in the gym being able to shoot on the court uh, Joe, who who all is in uh, your house with you right now? Uh, just my family, my mom, my dad, uh, and my little brother. How's that been with uh, being back at home when you uh, normally are at school at this time? Uh, you know, it's been good. It's always good to have them home cook home cooked meals every day. Yeah. It's also like trying to get out of the house so with the, always hanging out with the same people too. And then Damien, you've been seeing your brother a bunch too. Yeah, no, it's a good time. I'm just watching my bro uh, hanging out with my grandma, getting to spend good quality time that I haven't had since I came to college, really. Uh, and then, as we all know, we have a, a new coaching staff starting up this year. Um, Eli, how's the communication been with the with the coaching staff so far? Uh, Coach Johnson and I, we talk every day. And the system say always check in on me. We, uh, we communicate via Zoom once a week as a team. And have you guys had a chance to kind of talk with, you know, 
in your team meetings, uh, get to know some of the new players? We had the three signees come in. Oh, no, it's against NCAA rules right now, compliance rules, so they can't join us just yet. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, and then um, what excites you, Eli, about playing for Stan and, and what he's told you about what he's going to be doing next year with the offense? Uh, just expanding all of our games and playing faster. That'll be different, you know, trying to bring some excitement to Gersten. Excellent. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's it's an opportunity to have a really fun season and, you know, how much, uh, Matias, do you think that having the team in place is one thing, but having a great atmosphere and a crowd behind and getting some student support uh, to really kind of make it an energy field? Yeah, that's a big thing, like always. That's what we're going to work to do. As soon as, you know, <clears throat> people go to the game games, they will see that we, we're we really going to fight with everything we got and that we love the game. So. If we just get the, you know, the students to our games, I think they'll pretty soon see how much we care about this, and you know, they they'll start to like the game. Uh, with with some of the guys kind of all over with Kelly in Australia, and we got uh, some guys, you know, in different countries. Has the time change been difficult to talk to anybody? Not 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 really. I mean, we we wake up real early. Yeah. So, yeah, you've got yeah, some practice yeah. there. Yeah, we have the team meeting when I think it's the morning in Australia and it's uh, in the middle of the day here in LA and then I think it's nighttime in uh, Europe. So it works out pretty well. Very cool. Well, I'll do a couple quick fire questions and I'll just kind of run off a few of them and call you out and, and see what your answers are. Um, so Eli, who's got the best pregame music on the team? Um, I'd say it's a toss up between Dame and I, me and Dame. Both have an elite ox court, to say the least. True. Damn, you have that same answer? True, yes. Uh, what What's the hit track? Uh, I got multiple. We got multiple. Got multiple. <laughs> I'm throwing on that new baby, though. That's my go-to right now, that new little baby. <laughs> all right, all right. And then, uh, Joe, who do you think will be the biggest surprise teammate and what they've been kind of working on and building their game in for next season? Uh, I think for sure Damien is because, you know, before he got hurt, he was already dealing with, like, getting stronger and he was starting to get back. So I think he has a chip on his shoulder. So when he gets back, he for sure is going to prove us Very all. cool. Um, Matias, yeah, I mean, Eli is the only guy who was on last year's uh, team. You know, what excites you about getting this group back together? Oh, I mean, <laughs> where should I start? We had a great season two years ago with the, the full team. We have that team coming back. And, you know, a few additions to that. So, you know, I'm just excited to see how far we can go. I think we'll be really good next year. Nice. And then who's watched the best show uh, during this time when you've kind of been on uh, away from Colt School? Uh, I watched La Casa de Papel. What's that one? It's, um, it's called Money Heist uh, in English. It's a Spanish TV show. So it's I rewatched The Sopranos yeah. way better than Money Heist. No, oh, second, okay. Second greatest show of all time. So, you you watched the whole series before, though. Yeah, I've seen it before. Nice. What's the first greatest series? The Wire. Easily. Okay. So uh, two HBO classics. Yeah. Nice. Sons of Anarchy's in there though. Sons of Anarchy is a very elite show, also. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I don't know. Um, Man, shows. <laughs> Man. And then Joe, you know, you know. Being home with your family, how's uh how's the eating been? You uh, getting some good meals in? Oh yeah, all the time. <laughs> you already know. What's the, what's the go-to at the Quintana house? Uh, probably my mom's tacos and rice. <laughs> you try those before, Dame? I love Joe's mom's cooking. I love going over there. That's my second home when it comes to uh, getting a home cooked meal for my mom. I go to Joe's crib. <laughs> Nice. Um, how's how's school been in since it's shifted to more of an online form? How are you kind of dealing with all of that? Uh, I love it. I love the the online courses. We don't got to go to class for the most part. We just <laughs> doing turning in our work. I love it. Yeah, get, yeah. The the walk over there doesn't exist. It's easy. You just pop out of bed and you're good. Yep. Nice. Uh, have any of you guys kind of picked up a new hobby or, or interest that you, you know, have a little more time to work on now? I have not. 
I've been studying a lot, uh, you know, try to work out, be outside as much as possible. So kind of the same. Nice. All right, Eli, you are number zero in high school and have a number zero now. What's that number mean? Why, why zero? Um, honestly, I just chose it because it was different. And um, I just kind of just ran with it. It just fit once I um, got it. It kind of represents me, I guess you can say. So I just ran with it. It looks good above the rim. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you had your, uh, your high school jersey retired and you had your teammates from LMU come out and be part of that night. Uh, what was it like to go through the ceremony, but also to have uh, all the LMU people around as well? Uh, I mean, it was a really, you know, blessed experience. I, I don't think it's really hit me yet, only because I'm still playing. I think it'll hit me more once I'm done playing basketball. And then just with all my teammates coming, just shows how much I love, like our team as a family and that we're always there for each other on and off the court. Damien, are you uh, you teaching your brother any moves on the court? Yeah, I mean, he plays – he don't even hoop right now, but I got him uh, doing all my handle workouts with me, my core workouts, push-ups, band work. I got him doing all that. So, even if he's he 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 going to be in shape when I'm before I leave. How old is he? Nine. All right, so he's got some time before college. Yeah, he got time. Uh, Matias, how's uh, – getting your meals in during uh, the campus closure and everything. Are you, you still getting your, uh, your regular eats? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's fine. You know, <clears throat> I cook my food. I order sometimes just making sure I'm staying the same weight, getting all the proteins and calories and carbs and all that stuff. So that's, uh, you know, it's not as easy as it is before, but it's, it's working. <laughs> um, and then Joe, you know, we, Playing a home game, you know, what's the best part about playing on campus at LMU? Um, yeah. uh, it just depends on, like, the game, I guess. So sometimes, you know, we'll have, like, a full crowd. So just the environment whenever we have a lot of people there. But then just, all, you know, just playing with my teammates, that's always fun. Do you get, uh, Eli, do you get up differently if it's a home game or an away game, depending on uh, kind of where you're at? Yeah, usually away games I get more pumped for because it's like just the 15 people in you guys' group against the whole other organization, you know. They, you're going against the refs, the fans, the other team. So, yeah. Very cool. Well, if there's anything else uh, you want to share, we can kind of go through. Uh. I mean, I'm, you know, <laughs> please come to the games next season. Uh, we don't know how it's going to, you know, be, if we're even going to be allowed to have fans or, or not. But, you know, we'll just have to figure that out. But, you know, we'll be ready. So, please come give us a, give us a shot. Cool. And then I guess uh, we'll, we'll end it up with some, uh, with some self-promotion for you guys. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, where's the best place to follow you? Eli? Twitter. Anybody that knows me knows I'm a professional tweeter. <laughs> Social media kind of sore, some would call me. And then, yeah, most of the other names. Yeah, how, did you, how did you get so good at Twitter? Um, just tweeting what I genuinely think, you know. A lot of people tweet for retweets or they tweet for other people's um, validation. But I tweet what I genuinely think, whether people agree with it or not. And people often disagree with it. <laughs> yeah, Joe, what about you? Are you uh, your favorite social media? Uh, probably Instagram. Dame? Uh, I'm not really a social media uh, user that much, but uh, yeah, the gram, Damien one, you dig. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Matthias? Same Instagram. I use Twitter to follow my my soccer team, Tottenham Hotspur, so that's pretty much it. But yeah, Instagram is the best way to reach me. Very cool. Well, I appreciate it, guys. Uh, stay safe, and we uh, we definitely look forward to seeing everybody again uh, back at uh, campus in Gerson Pavilion. Uh, good luck with finals coming up, and uh, we hope to see you all soon. Thank Appreciate you. it. Appreciate Thanks, guys.